Question 34. A composite solid is shown. The top section is a cylinder with a height of 3 cm and a diameter of 4 cm. The bottom section is a hemisphere with a diameter of 6 cm. The cylinder is centered on the flat surface of the hemisphere. Find the total surface area of the composite solid in square centimeters, correct to one decimal place. Firstly, work out the radius of the cylinder and the hemisphere, since the surface area of both shapes depends on the radius and not on the diameters that are given. So the diameter of the cylinder is 4 cm, and if we halve that, the radius of the cylinder is 2 cm, and the radius of the hemisphere is half of 6 cm, which is 3 cm. Next, work out the surface area of the flat surface of the cylinder and hemisphere. In fact, the sum of this area here, so this is the flat surface of the cylinder, plus this ring here, which is part of the flat surface of the hemisphere, is in fact equal to the entire surface area of the flat surface of the hemisphere, since this shape here fits into this shape here perfectly. So the surface area of the flat surface of the cylinder and hemisphere is given by the formula for the area of a circle with a circle of radius 3 centimeters. So that's area equals pi times 3 squared, which equals 9 pi. So I'm going to leave these subtotals in exact form for now and then round at the very end. Next, work out the surface area of the curved surface of the cylinder. So that's this surface here. It's where a label would go if a label were to be attached. And that's given by the formula 2 pi r h, so 2 times pi times the radius of the cylinder, which is 2 centimetres, times the height of the cylinder, which is 3 centimetres, and that equals 12 pi. Next, work out the surface area of the curved surface of the hemisphere. Using the formula for the surface area of a sphere and then halving it, we have area equals 4 times pi times 3 squared, divided by 2, which equals 18 pi. To get the total surface area, we'll add up the three subtotals that we have. So 9 pi plus 12 pi plus 18 pi, and that equals 39 pi, which equals 122.522 and so on, which rounds to 122.5 square centimetres, correct to one decimal place.